Hey, what's going on, y'all? Uh, I know I'll be in my A for, you know, extended periods of time, but uh, I got a lot of things coming through like, so I can finally start really putting videos together and make some content. Ordered a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna wait till everything goes comes in. But right now, I'm pretty much gonna show y'all how to install the air dam. I haven't seen a lot of videos or anything on YouTube, so about to make my own. So I just found out that depending on the year of the car, uh, on the Facebook group Third Gen Camaro, uh, somebody told me that they had pretty much three different styles of the air dam. So this air dam right here is pretty much the lake style. So I guess maybe 87, 88 on up. But um, my car is in 86. And uh, so this air dam is all one piece. Uh, so I ordered this air dam. I remember I had asked a question a month, month and a half ago about the air dam somebody said that I was missing the lower air dam so I ordered it but um as you can see there is already an air dam installed so I figured that this was really supposed to attach to this piece but it, it's not so if your air if you had this type of air dam but you would prefer to have this lower one all I did, and this is pretty much temporary. These bolts are 10 millimeter. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, 10 millimeter bolts. So all I did was with the stock air down was I took the bolts out and I pretty much just pushed the tabs up out the way. And I put this air down here. It's pretty much, it's pretty simple, self-explanatory. And, uh, so what I'm gonna do, I may take it to a shop or I may do it myself, I don't know yet. Uh, I pretty much just cut this section of the air dam out on both sides. So I could get rid of this, but uh, I don't think for right now, I don't think there's gonna be any problem with the air dam scooping air up into the radiator i say that because there are pretty much gaps with this pushed up out the way so air will still be able to flow through there regardless but you won't really see it with the car lowered anyway so if it's not really causing any issues i'm probably just going to take my time doing this get everything else figured out first um my temperature is while i'm driving um i put in three bottles of hypercool super coolant or whatever it says it's supposed to lower your temps by about 30 degrees up to 30 degrees but uh my coolant would sit at about 200 to 205 while i'm driving but when i'm sitting at idle it'll take it a few minutes but it'll slowly creep up to 210. But that's when I'm sitting to like three to five minutes. The car's sitting three to five minutes idling. But uh, hopefully, you know, with this air down being installed, you know, it's lower. So it'll be able to pretty much scoop up more air. So hopefully with this being installed, you know, it'll pretty much keep my car running a little cooler. Uh, I did have my heater core taken out last year and pretty much how I bypassed it was I ran the hoses together because, you know, I said, hey, eventually I'm gonna put another uh, heater core in it so I didn't worry about deleting it and then running the hose from here to here. So heater core came in today and I am going to replace this with a fan temp switch. So, uh, whenever I buy one, I don't want to really order one online and wait. I want to go to the, you know, parts stores locally and buy one. But I don't know what the 
temp ratings are online so i'll have to see if they would know in store or do some more research so yeah pretty much uh it's a pretty simple install and i bought this from hawks motorsports just came in today and uh, i know you can get them on ebay but this was like 75 dollars on hawks hawks motorsports so yeah but i had some old videos coming in Finally put my Camaro badges back on. I hit some uh rider can spray around the car just to get rid of all that white. So if you're looking at the car from a distance, you know, it won't really look all that bad. But um I have some more videos coming soon, and I think I'm gonna put a third fan, cooling fan, right here, and then later on I'll put a uh Transmission cooler right there All right y'all stay tuned